All right, so let's go ahead and let's prove this trig identity, simplify it. So what we have here, we'll just convert these into their basic forms. Secant of x, so this becomes one over cosine of x minus tangent, so that's gonna be sine of x over cosine of x, and then we have the sine of x there, equals one over secant. So what we can do is it looks like we can combine these, because they have the same base. We can do one minus sine x sine x, so that becomes sine squared x. And this is all over the cosine of x. If you, oops, if you look here, this is a trig identity. It's equal to, well, one, one. One is equal to the sine squared x plus cosine squared x. And because of that, you see one minus sine squared x is equal to cosine squared x, which is equal to cosine of x because this cancels out one of these. So we have cosine of x, and I know that's a little strange or silly, but all you can rewrite this as um, one over one over cosine of x, because if you notice, if you divide by the reciprocal, or if you divide by this, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, which is cosine, and another way to say this is just one over the secant of x. So a little bit weird doing that, but that's how you do it. So anyway, hope that helped you out. Appreciate you watching. And I'll see you next time.